that's 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 so cool that's that's awesome you know what i'm not a huge fan of ai what the heck yeah i've seen the terminators i know how this goes not really is it a useful tool sometimes in certain situations yeah totally i can see it you know in certain applications in other ways i can see it being a little dangerous and uh, problematic and not the most safe technology. It's not really something I've ever cared to use. Even in this video, these aren't things I've uh, fed into a prompt and gotten back. They're kind of things that have already been generated and I'm reacting to them, if uh, that makes any sense. But what makes me say AI isn't the most safe technology? Well, really there's three reasons and uh, they've all already kind of been used and affected by AI. Number one, politics. It's probably not a great thing that you can make a uh, Anyone from anywhere say whatever you want at any given time, unless they're playing zombies. Both of you relax, I'll train the zombie. Bill, just because it's on its hands and knees doesn't mean you have to. Don't even go there. Two, artistry and writing. This is something we've kind of already BC affected. That's largely why there's a writer strike right now. A lot of people have lost jobs to AI in a very short amount of time. It's not always the greatest thing. And three, trains. No, really, they're ter they're worse than finger. Just wait till you see. I'll, I'll show you. Y'all ever seen Thomas mixed with a Wiggler from Mario crawling out of the depths of Hades? Me either, but now we both have to. You clicked on this video. What is go? What is this landscape? Is he coming out of a nightmare? Is he just a nightmare? Alt yeah, actually, that answers my question. Okay, so it's like a capless and bufferless boiler on like thirteen diesel bogies. That's also on lava. Are you even on the train tracks? What is that? Why do you have a fedora on your buffer beam? What, what is that for? Oh, does that go on the lamp iron on your head? That would have been cooler. I'm just saying. It looks like your eyelid has a hat brim. That's that's not comfortable for either of us. Can you stop? What is that? Is that like a window on the back and a seven and, and strange flesh pocket? This is a, no, I'm done with this picture. I don't like this anymore. Okay, at least this one's on the train tracks and semi looks accurate that's a semi czechoslovakian looking locomotive okay no lie i do like that livery red piston teal color that's neat why do you have a dome for a funnel and stop looking at me like that what did you do wrong you know bold choice going for the cow catcher and buffer beam that's a uh, that that's something see my theory is he pawned off that other smoke deflector just to get the cow catcher but i don't have proof no evidence whoa what, what's up with that dome in the back is that like a crock pot you could make a stew that gives every homeless person in the world five servings with that alone jesus f your wheels did you get melted in the steelworks how do you go or do you even it kind of looks like you're stuck in a roundhouse or a museum or a nuclear launch facility. You know, it kind of looks like CGI Thomas is trying to grow a widow's peak. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That, that's, that, stop. Okay, I need to analyze what I'm looking at here. Elderly Thomas holding two deviled eggs. <sighs> Why are his wheels made out of denim? That's so 10 years ago. And I'm still not over the devil to put those down right now. No, really, what is this? Like a futuristic grandma Thomas that also likes cooking? I'm trying to decipher whatever hieroglyphics are here on the side, and I think it's E.T. doing a little dance. I could be wrong, though. You know, maybe he's not elderly and is just kind of obese from eating those deviled eggs. I don't think either is a positive outcome. The body of it looks like it's melted. What is this thing made of except uh, when a computer queefs? Like, I'm sorry, you just can't tell me this is art in any way. Oh my god, this is art. Wait, no, this is fart, and that's the engine's name. My bad, my bad, got it mixed up. You know, it's ones like this that I'd say are kind of dangerous. This looks like a real day out with Thomas picture. Like, sure, at a closer glance, that steam engine is definitely not real, but... You know, from afar, it does kind of look like a steam engine approaching and there's a crowd behind it. Okay, number one, if this was real, uh, run as fast as you can. Do not trust those rails for a second. Two, I do not like your face. I don't know when your upper lip starts and your bottom lip ends. Three, it kind of looks like your face is a smaller face being eaten by a bigger face. Yeah, overall, I just kind of hate this image more and more. You know, you do have pretty pink buffers, though. Those are kind of neat. I'm not going to lie. All right, wait, what's going on with that front bogey? Why is the back wheel eating the front wheel? And again, why are they both breaking the track? This is not a safe location to be, cameraman. Run, please. Okay, so now we break into some merchandise that I guess is AI generated. I am so confused. Is this like Cyberpunk James, but he's like maroon? Or like James and Caitlyn put together? Jaitlyn, maybe? 
with a sentient tinder that's pretty cool i mean at least with this one you can really see what it was uh, referencing i think this is thomas wood making a uh, uh, thomas wood as you can see like i'm pretty sure that's a james or maybe even connor face uh, I don't know how to describe this body, I'm not gonna lie. And I think the Mr. Jolly, or uh, just a troublesome truck face, again, on the truck or tinder on the back. My brain hurts. What is that? How do you enter this thing? And is that all lining or like panels that you flip up and uh, can use to self-destruct? Please, I'm praying for the ladder. God, please let there be the ladder. I mean, I guess the wheels are semi-believable if there's that. The buffer beams look like yellow or orange LEDs though, and that also is annoying. You can just look at this and know it plays that really cheap train noise, that wee, 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 ch 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 You know what I'm talking, you, if you're a real one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This looks like it plays that, and you know what? Gross. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, they did it again. They, they keep mixing James with random characters. Now we have Gia. James and Nia have uh, been combined. Okay, so where the last pulled from Thomas Wood, I think this is pulling from the uh, new Wooden Railway collection. Like that's uh, definitely a James and Nia face mixed together. We've got the red livery, lead paint. Uh, what else do you need? Some clarification would be pretty cool, just saying. You know, I think your magnet is phasing out of reality, or maybe just making its own. See, I'm thinking I might be wrong on the face. Like, look at the boiler. That's definitely a hero boiler that it just kind of copied and pasted onto this image. And I am seeing those uh, crow's feet, so uh, maybe. Maybe this is Hero, Nia, and James, all thrown into one character. Hajia. Hajia, yeah, that sounds like an aneurysm, which is what this is giving me. That's perfect. Again, okay. No, one more, why not, why not? You know, I can't tell exactly what the goal with this thing was. Old Shape Henry, I mean, that or Redesigned Henry jumped and ate normal Thomas, because look, he's got the number one. That's a bold claim right there. It's kind of sad, like, when you look at his face... You can tell he knows he's f***ed. Like, this is the... Poor guy. Poor guy. Does that in any way help his case? No, it looks like a dinosaur and a wooden railway train crossbred. A couple very small details are pretty accurate here, like uh, the pistons and uh, maybe side detail. The buffers. And then you see the overall shapes, like the splashers and the domes, and you're kind of like... Who gave you PCP? Okay, I want to say this is the last merchandise one, and uh, what a banger. We uh, Troublesome Toby. That's pretty cool. You mean to tell me AI gave us a smiling Toby before the new wooden railway line did? Okay, who's actually number one here? Is it you or is it uh, whatever that Henry we saw earlier was? I want you to figure it out amongst yourselves and just, just let me know after. Wait, is that even a buffer beam or like a piece of stained wood that's been nailed under his face? I'm going with the latter. Like, it's weird. If you look at the side, that's pretty genuine detail. That looks like something you'd see on a troublesome truck. And then you see the back wheels just kind of floating in literal nothingness. This kind of looks like when Din, Diesel, and Dart hid in boxes, but it was Toby who did it. Which does give me an idea for a Thomas and the Magic Railroad update, but that's for later. Another episode, another video. You know, I don't think I have much to say about this one besides it looks like the end of an ARG. You know, when the creepy image comes on screen with the weird text like... <laughs> Random stuff like that. Like, does that not scream that to you? Again, you're well, if I had to see this, you did too. It just is what it is. Okay, so to finish up this video, I found one more style that uh, I'm sure you can immediately tell that's being ripped here. This is like the My First Thomas Books or uh, th that kind of illustration. I'm stutter. I'm losing brain cells as I'm doing this, if you couldn't tell. And who exactly is the smudger maybe after some of that pcp from henry no really i don't know exactly what i'm looking at but i think it's narrow gauge I i'd say that's somewhat of a safe bet wait from the looks of it it doesn't even have can you gauge something that doesn't have wheels in the first place what is going on behind you is that a house that runs on the train tracks that's way more interesting can you move out of the way dude all right no nah, eh, this one i mm, 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 i do I quit? Do I quit right now? I I'm tempted. I'm tempted. What even? What? What is? Th what are you? What? What could you be? Don't answer that question. I don't want to know. Okay. Before anything, let's address those eyes. It's debatable whether this thing is even alive or not. I, I think that's fair. Two. What are we looking at? Like a like a steam tram, like a San Francisco tram with a steam train boiler that for some reason is sentient. It shouldn't be sentient. Poor thing. Like that is suffering if I've ever seen it. What does it say? Todd, please. 
Todd Plea? Yeah, I'm going to go with the first, Todd Plea. That's your name. That's who you are now. You're welcome. Imagine it. You save up so much money. You're finally taking the family on a vacation. You're going to Sodor. This is the first thing you see. Don't you immediately pack your bags, get back on the plane, go back. That's what I'd do. I'm just saying. The snots crungled digger. The snots crungled digger. Well, you didn't have to tell me that. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? All right, this one, this is not even a train. I don't think. Like, it has elements of one, but I... No, no, I don't think that's an engine. This is like the entirety of Jack in the Pack did a morphing move. Like they're Power Rangers or something. Okay, so we got a face, a funnel, uh, what I assume is a boiler and some tanks. Uh, very large caterpillar or tank treads, like huge ones. That's, that's, wow. Uh, it kind of looks like he cuts off in the middle. Uh, there's an area of nothing. And then there's a second cab that's also sentient. Uh, also, no. Choose one number. You're not 17 and 18. You're either 17 or 18. Or you're 1,718, and I don't think you're that cool. Wait, who is this on the side? Is that Mr. Percival with, like, a cannon? Like, a sentient machine gun? I can't blame- that makes perfect sense to me. Frankly, I think he's late. We could have used that, what, three or four images ago? Alright, everybody. Finally, our final one. We're going to end this off with Crane. Which, in itself, is a loaded state. Are you sure? I'm not. So Crane to me kind of looks like Stafford mixed with uh, Mighty Mac, but I, we only know of one. I hope there's only one face. Frankly, it's already too much that one soul is suffering like this. Dude, I'm not trying to be rude, but why is your funnel so big? It's actually causing environmental damage. That's a tornado behind you, and I'm pretty sure it's your fault. You know, those don't look like normal pistons or buffers either. Those kind of look like uh, mounted machine guns, if I'm being completely... You're, you're not a nice engine just all around, are you? Or are you even in it? Your name is Crane. In a weird way, this looks like something that could totally exist. But again, we're at the Tommy... Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. The Blue Snowplow did this first and way better, let me say. You know, I'm kind of confused here. Is this Thomas, but he's a uh, radial tank? I mean, that's the first impression I got. No, this actually looks like the engine from Monster Under the Shed. And now I'm very disappointed we never got merch for those books. Now, is that a one or is that a parasite that slowly encompassing your entire being. Imagine that. That's probably what it's like for real engines in Day Out with Thomas. They get that one and that tiny splotch of paint on them and they're like, oh no. Oh no, God. Oh, I, I know what this means. Okay, no. This right here is proof AI is getting way too dangerous. That is straight up a take along Percy. Okay, never. He did jump James for his splashers. Oh my God. Look at that. Fi okay, never mind. It does still scream knockoff, but we're getting close. It's getting closer. Skynet is coming. All right, call the Terminator. So why exactly did you jump Mallard for his Tinder and then put the main components for Pinchy on the top of it? Okay, maybe not the main component, but like the things that hold him. What, am I crazy? If you took a Pinchy piece and just slapped that right on the end, I I'm just saying. New from Learning Curve, the take along Percy takes ketamine, jumps diesel tin, and Mallard pack. $49.99. All right, that's it. What, what, diesel with headphones? That's the only thing I'm, I'm seeing here. Now, the gym stuff's been paying off. You see that curvature in the face? He, he's losing some weight. But he did, you know, take a page from Percy and steal James's dough. Again, why is James getting so much ripped from today? Poor bastard. You know, actually, I'm more concerned with this uh, jet engine we have here in the back. We've got one car kind of balancing on two wheels. And right behind that, we have the jet of a Boeing 747 put on a flat car. Now, I'm just saying, something about this feels terroristic. Maybe that's just me. It could just be me. Wait, this one kind of looks like a model. It's got that uh, wall background there in the back. Uh, those tracks are giving me an aneurysm, and it kind of looks like a model train. It's got the signature Bachman diesel red buffers. You know, not a model I'd want to own, though. Probably not. It looks like it comes with infections and several hundred dollars of medical bills. What is that? What is that on your cab side? Is that like some ancient Egyptian thing letting me know I've unleashed some sort of unspeakable evil into the world? I mean, you, you kind of do if this is on your train table. Okay, train aside, I do have to say, phenomenal ballast work. That does look pretty... The, the landscaping is pretty on point. That looks pretty cool for a computer piece of shit. The engine, how, again, I just, I don't know exactly what we're looking at. Like, what is that configuration? What is that, a 4-4... Four, four, Two? Never mind. It's just an aneurysm. My brain hurts a lot more now. No, Jesus Christ. They got the Brio They've got the Brio trains. You know, I can't remember, but this might be the first AI fake wooden train we've ever seen. And you know what? I could have gone without it. We didn't need to see it. What is going on with your face? It looks like you're about to explode from the inside out. I mean, it's an interesting livery, even if it does scream 
schizophrenia. Imagine being the poor conductor or fireman inside of that cab and those are the windows you have to look out. You have to put your entire trust in this locomo- like, never mind, I'm good, I quit. Right there, on the spot. Wait, is this another wooden train? I can't really tell if this is a wooden train or maybe just a- a, a mini? Mixed with a wood- it, those wheels scream wooden railway. But that face screams, uh, my EpiPin, please, please get it, get my EpiPin. What, what is this livery? Is this Victor, but he's a, a steampunk pirate? What is that? Look at that cab door. It's made of wood. He has a wooden cab door. This is definitely like a mini design, and it totally makes sense if this is how they made most of those actual mini designs. You mean to tell me a person thought of this? Well, I just like to shake their hand very hard, very firmly, with a very firm grasp. <laughs> Oh my lord, not Henry on the HGH, you look so much better natty. This is what- this is the true cost of performance enhancers, if anybody wanted to know. Now, be for real with me, are those eyeballs or are those headlights? Because I- I'm a little terrified, and you could probably see in my soul, right now. Again, what exactly is this configuration? It looks like a... maybe a 4? 2? I'm gonna go with the 4, 4, 2. Maybe. And it's got a very... Hey, that's not even a tinder, that's just a coal bunker. He's one of them thick boys, man! Wait, maybe that's the tinder? Or maybe it's kind of like a horse or post box that, you know, doesn't hold horses or posts, just demons and things you don't want in your life. All right, immediately, right off the bat, this one's giving me the vibe of uh, Thomas got turned into a playground, said whatever, that's fine, and became the playground. Now he's like a spider demon. It's like they turned him into a jungle gym and he was like, I sure, I'll make it work. Look at that, wearing his headlamp to the side like a real rebel with his little tiny baby buffers and knuckle coupler that I totally just noticed. Is that even a fun? Okay, I thought I had this explained, but the more I look at it, uh, the more I realized that was a fallacy. No, no, I did not. Not at all. This could be a pretty neat diorama, though. I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there if anybody wants to make it. Why'd you all go sign? I didn't say I would. That was not something I agreed to. Okay, no. What? I don't know if I can't. This is like the one of those dark Thomas AUs where it's kind of trying too hard. But it actually, you know, fulfills what it's talking about. I'm gonna say it before the comments get- Shed 17. I know, I know it's Thomas exploding into flesh and like gross stuff. It's Shed 17. I know. I mean, to me, it kind of looks like if the tank from Left 4 Dead 2 fused with Topham, or, you know, it, Topham became the tank from Left 4 Dead 2. There you go. You're looking at it. It's like Heavy from Team Fortress 2 with a really bad infection mixed with Gordon for some reason. Like, forget the face on the top. Look at the one in the middle. Like, what What is going on here? Why is it burned? Why is it... it, it those look like hearts. Again, I don't know how to justify. This is just some... Uh, your, your worst nightmare. There you go. Oh, you thought it was... You thought I was over with it. Nuh-uh. There's this one, too, and... Uh, this is, uh, uh, <sighs> this is like a parasitic infection that gets inside of locomotives and turns them sentient. There you go. Strip off all that smoke box paint, take off that quote-unquote face, and this is probably what you're left with. Croven's Gate uh, performs miracles. Jesus, look at that. It's got arms and, I think, let... What it, I, I, I'm disgusted. Don't ever call yourself steampunk around me if you're not ready to commit like this. This is steampunk right here. All right, what the- we got Smudger here, I guess, all confident. He's got a red dome now, and he thinks he's ruling the world. Look at that face. It actually does kind of scream Smudger, but, uh, maybe with a cleft lip. Like, why are you doing the duck face, dude? That- that's not needed here at all. Oh, yeah, you're also an 060, maybe an 080 now. That's- that's interesting, you know, cool fashion choice. And moving- and look at that. He just now found out he's getting turned into a generator. That or he lost his red dome privileges, and he's just- he's mortified. Look at that. A character from Postman Sam said, No, no red dome for you. You get red buffers now, bitch. And look at Smudger's face. He's just like, Wah! Okay, whoa, whoa, what, what's- what's going on here? This one's probably the most accurate to the real Smudger we've got so far, but look at that face. That- that is a scream if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna put you to the side for a sec. What is wrong with your little uh, conductor or like- uh, is that the Joker? No, for real. This feels like one of those creepy pasta things. Like, that's something you'd see in the back rooms or something weird like that. My boy, you're not getting turned into a generator. You're losing your entire soul, apparently. I'd be screaming like that, too. That's a pretty appropriate face, I guess. Uh, never mind. I guess he just went to prison. No, never mind. He definitely did still lose, uh, like, everything. But he's in prison now, I guess, surrounded by armed guards. Now, that's not enough to take his cab and his major running components. Put that boy in Guantanamo Bay. Oh, my God. They rebuilt him. They turned him into a Chuggington character. Oh my lord. Now he's a track cleaning bullet train with goggles and a funnel on his cab. And, and an atomic logo on the side. Is this a bomb? Okay, this one's kind of confusing me. Is this a model or is this just like a really small train in the... It's kind of giving me model vibes a little bit. Now the face, however, those vibes... We don't need to talk about those vibes. Really, I'd rather just run. You look like the Pillsbury Doughboy, but half melted. You went through all that effort for that livery, and that's the face you get stuck with. Tell me God doesn't have a sense of humor. Wait, what is this? Just Thomas with a flat running board and a uh, copper funnel top and three whistles? 
in, in one buffer that's larger than the other in a really short lane. What is going on here? Am I having a seizure? No, seriously, I'm kind of confused on what's going on here. What, what, what was the goal? What, what was the purpose? What are you trying to do here? Oh, dear God. You know those rides in the mall that sometimes have Thomas or it'll be like a Bob the Builder or something random? This is when it becomes sentient. It just woke up and realized what it's doing. This is, this is my life? This is what it all amounts to? <sighs> AI Thomas and friends. What, do you want me to say something positive? They all suck. Everything it ever does sucks. Let me let me prove this to you. Just wait. Now, what in the hell? Okay, no, no, no. This is how we're starting this video. This. My brain hurt. I'm, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not mentally prepared. You know, I just did not wake up today and think to myself, I really need to see Thomas with hyper-realistic teeth. That is, that's what I need. So they completely took away your buffers, your couplers, all that detail, and just threw it into your lips and mouth. That's terrifying. I hate that. Okay, what's going on with these cab windows? You've got the one on the left that's actually a circle, and the one on the right that's... At I mean, kind of squarish. Looks like the monster house when it's pissed at you. This engine's either having a hernia or was designed by somebody in the middle of one. And I don't mean to be rude, but look at that fit. You can tell he's one of those guys. Like, he probably collects his own scabs or tries to smell random people in public. What the hell? Sn- 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 How do you- How do you pronounce this? Is it just Sn- It's just Sn- That actually makes a lot of sense. You can probably only fit two letters at a time in your brain. So what's going on here? Is this like a really bad prototype Mighty Mac? Why does he have a face on the side? What, is he like scared somebody will only attack him on the left side so he grew another face there just to be sure? Like you're not sneaking up on me. I'm covered by two angles. You know, I got a note. Looks like there's plenty of room inside of that cab. It might be comfortable, but what is going on with your side rods? It's like you're part Ertl, part Charlotte's Web, and I hate it. I hate every single bit of it. How does that even work? You would take one puff, one movement forward and just explode. And I kind of want to see it. Can you do it really quick? I want to test this theory. Please, please. Chaunt? What is a- what, what in the world is a chaunce? I have never heard that word before in my life. And looking at it now, I kind of wish I never did. Like, at first, everything seems pretty normal, pretty fine. And then, again, you look at the wheels, you look at the side rods, and you're like, oh, oh my god, I'm having a seizure. Why is your back buffer beam that long? Is that like a diving board for when your crew realize what they're doing and just want to end it all? Well, that actually would make sense. Never mind. Look at his dumb face. Like, look how cocky he looks. He definitely thinks he's better than you. And you know what? I just don't want to hear it from an engine that looks like an already popped pimple. Ciprivri- I, You know what? I'm not even going to try this time. That is the name. You can see it right there. Your guess is as good as mine. So what exactly are we looking at here? Is this like a tank engine tractor hybrid? It looks like it runs on uh, four wheels, if you can call them that. Kind of looks like treads, but it seemingly has side rods. So, okay, okay, there's that. What looks like a cab there in the back, we've got, um, just what am I, what's going on here? I'm so confused. My brain, my brain, I can't do this today. Why did I choose this video? The livery's kind of banging. Like, he's got the black, he's got the gold, looks pretty solid. But, but what are you? Are you even on the train tracks? What? what? So from what I can gather, we have what basically is a solid gold uh, steam tractor hybrid thing that runs on at least one rail, at least, and again, for some reason has tracks or uh, treads instead of typical wheels. This, this is just a Bubba character. You really didn't need AI to do anything you see here. This is called sleep deprivation and crack. What the f- Okay, no, obese engines. We've, we've made it to obese- engines look at that shit which one which one there's a couple of them oh my god your buffers they're all mangled and messed up and you know not in the right spot what is going on here what is this like again at first everything about this seems pretty normal it looks you know kind of believable and then you see the face and you're like okay you know what no i quit where's my medication it literally looks like there was a ring or a holder where the face was supposed to be and it just grew out of there, uh, like a cancerous lump, past it. This is not Frida, this is Freed Burger, and no, she does not need another one, do not give her one even if she asks. Okay, you know what, look at this and tell me AI knows what it's doing in any capacity. You're an idiot, no, no it doesn't, it just, no, no it does not. Jesus Christ, your smoke box is longer than a Monday with no sleep. And look at that buffer, that is a wide buffer beam. You could fit an entire track gauge directly on top of that. No, not all, they got Oliver too. What did Oliver do to deserve any of this? Do not include him in your shenanigans. You know, it looks like he's kind of mostly there, but uh, it also kind of looks like, you know, Rex and Oliver had a horrible accident, smashed into each other, and they just combined the parts, you know, made it one engine. And I hate that. That's terrifying. Stop. Get it away from me. This is not, this is not any better. This does not help. No, no. What, it, what, what's going on here? What is this Lovecraftian horror shit? Okay. The only thing I can gather from this image is Thomas and his friends 
are a cancerous mutation on the island of Sodor, and slowly they're starting to not only morph together, but morph into the island of Sodor, becoming even more of a cancerous mutation, and growing on each other, and growing upon the island, until soon, it will be nothing but one large, flesh-ridden, machine-ridden, cancerous lump on the world. I just described the fandom. Okay, what's going on with the dude in the back? Is that lady, is that AI-generated lady? That's probably the most accurate thing you're gonna get out of any of these videos, let's be honest. They even got the gold funnel. There you go, just there you go. Just what is going on with the design of this thing? Like, it, it has faces in places it shouldn't have. It has, um... You know, I, I shouldn't try to bring reason to something that just has no reason. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, again. From what I can tell, there's a city in the background, in smoke and ruins. So my theory really wasn't a theory, it's just a sad reality. Okay, this is, you know, a Tomy accurate Thomas, I guess. You know, we got the red footplate, we got the oversized lamp that should be red too, to be honest, but it is what it is. We got some uh, extra lining, a, a cab that's a... Uh, slowly fading into nothing. Cab windows that apparently are uh, filled in. W what is that? Is that a caboose? Is that a tinder? Is it a tumor? I'm gonna go with a tumor. It's probably a tumor. The ladder, please. I is this even a train? I mean, I see it's on rails. It's got a buffer beam. It's got a face, but it kind of just looks like a jet engine, like a jet engine with a Thomas face <laughs> smacked onto the front of it with a buffer beam. Uh, it's just an experimental engine. Okay, okay. No, really. Look at that funnel. It could block out the sun for at least half the globe. And again, why is it so wide? Why is the buffer beam and everything on these engines just so wide and large? It, it, no. You know, I'm not trying to be rude here, AI, but this is just not how you do broad gauge. This is just not the method. Is that wood? Is that wood? Is this chocolate? Is this, um, I... It's just a nightmare. Again, that's all this is. It's a nightmare. Okay, take your pick. Either the Hershey Chocolate Thomas decided to become canon and just made the entire world around it chocolate, or Toby had enough of being called Old Square Box, and he said, you know, everything's gonna become a wooden square box, and uh, this is just the aftermath. So it really turns out Misty Island was the infection, and uh, just this is just Thomas after he came back, you know, nothing too serious, just a flu. Okay, run, 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 we gotta go, we gotta go, run, run. Oh my, okay, here we have another image where, again, you think everything's fine. There's Aerie, you know, he's just chilling, normal dude, and then you see Bert, and you're like, oh, my, okay, no, you know, no, I didn't need this. Stop, quit. He's in pain. Don't do this to him. Like, we're, uh, we're, we're not even going to comment on that face. Uh, it looks like he's on a truck chassis now and uh, is some form of a padded room. I, uh, what? Oh, and in front of Aerie, we have some imposter bitch. I, I don't know who this is. It's just some new green diesel that uh says uh, 2C, 2C. You, there you go, 2C on the side of the cab, but, um, to see what? what? What are we seeing? What was the point? What is the prompt here? What was AI trying to do besides just give Bert a horrible day? And I don't think he needed that. And you know, I don't think I needed that. And I don't think you guys needed that. But if I had to see it, you did too. And that just is what it is. Again, what, what's the prompt? What were you trying to get out of this image? What, what's going on here? We have a child that's being turned into a train, crying because it doesn't want to be turned into a train in front of a brake van in a Baroque style. Again, what was the point? What, what were you trying to do here? That poor, poor boy, this poor, poor engine, and that poor, poor brake van all now involved in something they had no choice and no will to be involved in, all because you wanted a pretty picture. You should feel bad. You should feel terrible. Another, another one. Another, why would there not be another one? Of course, there's another one. Again, what was the pro, what were you trying to get out of the AI generator when you put in child being turned into tank engine in a weird artistic form. Th d d why? What? What's the point? I don't get it. Again, we have a sad child on the front of a uh, steam engine that's blue. I, is, is this Thomas? Is this just a long, really strange winded way of trying to say you like Shed 17? Jackass. And would you look at that? We've got a canceled Jack in the Pack member. Uh, no, not canceled because he didn't make it in the show. Canceled because he uh, looks like that. He's hideous. We, no one wants to see that. He also made some risque tweets, but that's another topic. Again, what is the, what is this like a crane on a uh, chassis? And what is the chassis? We've got some treads here. We've got, uh, yeah, I actually don't know what's going on in any of these. And that one, he kind of looks like a vacuum. <laughs> oh God, here we go again. Okay, before we even start with that name, what are you? Like, you've got this half cab, and the back is a 
padded seat from a horse-drawn carriage? I'm pretty sure your operator is an alien. Your configuration makes me mad, and I'm pretty sure you're just Scarloey if he had a life-threatening stroke. What is a Ryu Mili? Ryu Miley? I've never heard that before in my life. This is like a horrible, horrible fan fiction where Scarloey and Reneas have a kid. I'm not even finishing that joke. Tell me what you know about Fooland. Oh no, the literal bus on rails. No, literally, he has tires, but he still has a buffer beam. This, this is hilarious. You know, as a concept, a rail bus is a thing already, and it's pretty cool. What's going on here? Why is his face on the on the ass? What, is this Birdie's alcoholic cousin? Ended up low on fun, said, eh, screw it, I'll work for the railroad. What a bogey, D don't put that weak crap on me. Leave the tires, leave the tires. This hurts my brain. Show Nike, show Nike, show Nike. Shoniki, we'll go with that one, we'll go with that one. You know, this one looks pretty legit. I could see this being a character in Thomas and Friends, or just being something that races in the Le Mans. Specifically, the 1955 one. I knew he looked familiar. Dunp, Dunpy, Dun... You know what, we'll come back to that. I, I, you've got some other problems. What are these industrial tumors in the background? What, what are those supposed to be? This is like Jack in the Pack, if their only goal was pollution. Or if for some reason they collaborated with Twisted Metal, I guess. You see, this is the asbestos truck. He pulls the toxic stuff, and unfortunately, it's starting to show. Sliver, oh no, I, at least I can pronounce it. Look, your name is disgusting, you're disgusting. I really don't want to talk about you for longer than I have to. You can kind of tell the prompt was pulling from Charlie, but I almost want to say this is more accurate to Charlie than the actual Charlie, because it looks like a tumor. You have a literal button for a front wheel. Okay, Coraline. And a literal hubcap. It looks like you have a DUI. And why is this Thomas melting? You know what, I'm not gonna lie, Sorik's hitting a little different. Look at that funnel, it's a bong. He's not just piloted by creepy lizard alien men, but also that gas. No, for real, what's going on here? Is this like Theo and Winston's love child? So it's like a convertible car on, ri look, AI. We're supposed to be talking about trains here, St stick with the program. You know, we're talking about Thomas and friends, not Prince Harry drives my OC. Okay, maybe they're not that different. You know, the only thing AI might be remotely good for in terms of trains is this Lovecraftian horror crap. What is this? You've got some sort of creature here on the right, and I assume two normal people in front of it, standing right in front of this giant hell train. Whoa, the face looks like a bug. This is kind of, ew, ew, creepy. This doesn't feel like a natural train. Something about this is infectious. It feels gross. Is it smile? It's definitely smiling at us. Okay. Moving on. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this one's a bit more goofy, like brother. Dentistry probably exists somewhere on Sodor, but it, still, you're, you're creepy, you're creepy. It's kind of like the moon from Majora's Mask got bored and threw itself on what I think is a diesel locomotive. See, it's not like any of these are genuinely creepy. Jesus, actually unnerving. You have a child that looks pretty accurate. Uh, Probably about to be eaten. That's the only thing I can assume. It looks like the face isn't real and was put on the front of like a normal train and the headlights just trying to show through. And the rest of it is just this mechanical infection that's coming out of this smoke. This is actually terrifying. Oh, look, ugh, the funnel's coming out of its weird, grotesque flesh. This is, okay, no, this is getting weirder and weirder. He's got rivets in his face, a giant hook that would probably wrap around someone's neck. This is... Not a friendly seeming locomotive, not gonna lie. You know what, I'm thinking about this a bit too much. This is clearly a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure thing and that's just a stand. There we go, that makes a lot more, I got it, I got it, there we go. Still might shower in some holy water though, just in case, just in case. Okay, no, 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 that's it, you robot sons of bitches. Stay away from my track master. Look at that lamp, I want to impale myself on it after seeing this. What is going on? Is that even a whistle or is that like a DJ sound pad? You know, at least they managed a number one in the midst of this uh, drug bender fueled lining job. Who is that behind? Is that Duck and Glenn put into one? I, I don't know what that is, a thing? Th we'll call it a thing. That's not a coupler, that's a camera. We caught you in 4K getting inspiration from this. What is wrong with you? Aw, oh, man, no, they got him again. Again? Is that Edward? No, that's Ledward, there you go. This is Edward after visiting the Elephant's Foot under Chernobyl. No, for real, you mean to tell me AI gave us accurate lamps before Tommy Playrail did? I'm a little offended, I'm a little bit offended. That's it, I'm calling the blue snowplow and he is going to sue because how dare you use Hawin like this? He deserved better. Look, it's only fair. If they're gonna get my track master, they've gotta get you take along dudes too. It's only fair. Like, look at that. They mixed James, Thomas, Max, Monty. I... 
all into one. That's that's something. And it's numbered 44. It's a part of the railway. It's actually got a number. Let's not forget his friend here, Hen Gorda. <sighs> like, again, it's Henry and Gordon, I think. But then there's a little bit of maybe Thomas or James. Just overall obesity in that face. And what? Okay, no, you don't get two pistons. One or the other. Choose. It looks like he has a go-to. This is Fred Durst if he was in the Thomas world. You know what? The entire idea of minis starts to make a lot more sense if you put AI into the mix. Like, yeah, that's probably how they made 90% of those things. GM, if Good Mythical Morning made a Thomas Mini anything, you better believe I would buy it. But I, I, they would probably do something a lot cooler than this. Why is he so cr Is he from the future? He's gotta be from the future. That's the only reason his face is that chrome. No, but for real, what is this? Is it like Toby, Diesel 10, Paxton, uh, Neil? All four or five thrown into one again? And what exactly is your name and how do you pronounce that? I got as far as Sin. And that makes perfect sense. Yeah, we'll probably just leave it there. Another one, ladies and gentlemen, another one, another one. Have you ever played rugby? No, for real, why is he looking at me like that? You better stop it. What is this, is this salty if he was mixed with Shark Boy? And why can't they just choose one? No, you can't be 14, four, and 11. That is not how this works. No, 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 no. You know, it's a little unnerving how much of the mini they get right. Like the wheels, the couplers, the chassis, the uh, running board. That's all pretty accurate, not only on this one, but the last one too. And then you get to the details and it's like, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, take your medication, calm down, please. But you know what? It's not like there'd be any more of them. Are you serious right now? Why? Are you one, are you six, or are you seven? Okay, I'm done, I'm done. What, please figure this out before you come in front of me. And again, this looks exactly like something minis would have made. This is like Thomas and I think Bell maybe mixed together a bit. But look at the lining. It actually looks accurate. Look at the wheels. Look at, again, the running board. This looks like a real mini. And I've caught you red-handed, Mattel. That, that's the only way you could have made some of this stuff. Okay, that's it. Nope, nope, nope. And I only quit because that's the best one. I love that. What the fuck? We've got some Chad-faced what looks like Swedish electric locomotive over here. Look at him with his fancy gold wheels and his strangely circular face, which continues to unnerve me. You see, this, this is what Toby could have and should have been the entire time. That's not a half pariah. That's the full thing and then some. I am a little confused that what exactly is it? It's not a tram. It's not a passenger coach. It's kind of just both of them put into a, oh no, I don't, what, whoa, okay. Ah! Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.